All right, so guys, so we are on our way to see Solo. Right, Star Wars movie. We are not Star Wars fans. Um, a little we bit. We really wanted to see Deadpool 2, but it's not playing there in XD box right. anymore. It's about so, the experience. <laughs> yeah, so we're going with the experience. So we're gonna see Solo. And we'll see, we'll see. So we're gonna let you guys know if this XD box is worth the experience. How much are these tickets? I have no idea. Okay, we're gonna find out how much they are and if it's worth the experience. So. And this is where we're going. So it's a little after 11 now, but we still want tickets for the 11 o'clock show. Being that we don't give a dag about Solo anyway. We doing this for y'all. Yeah, it totals 4796. Can I see your ID, please? Oh. So, for the seats we had, the aisle was really tight to walk through. Um, so this was a little awkward. This was due to the experience bar, I'm not sure what you call it, but the main contraption that makes the 4DX, the 4DX experience. Our bar was positioned directly in front of our seats, which took up aisle space. There were other places in the theaters, and it may be places in your theater, where the experience actually comes from the back of the seat in front of you. This gives you more space, though it may make the interaction a little further away Sorry. than where you're sitting. This is a situation, y'all. air blowing on me I hope I don't get sick oh god <laughs> Pressurized air cannons are located behind your legs and to the left and right of your head. This gives you anywhere from the sense of bullets whizzing by to rip roaring wind blowing through your hair as you take flight through a movie's scene. This plastic doohickey will flap at your legs. Why? Because how else will you feel the branches of the jungle as you and your seat run by? Lights may flash like the 4th of July during your movie. This was to simulate high power gunfire and things blowing up. Look at that water on. Hit it again, Gwen. Water on will spritz you with water rather than douse you with water. So don't be scared. You're not going to come out dripping wet and you're not going to mess up your hair, ladies. The seat has the same effects as a good massage chair minus the massage. Instead, you'll get thumped, vibrated, and pummeled into a submission. <laughs> the experience bar will do anything from blow bubbles to scents and fog in your direction. This is also where the water comes from. Movie done, son. <laughs> so, y'all, guess what? Guess what? It turns out that our very own Gwen really was a Star Wars Han Solo fan. And I really think that she plotted this and this is what she really wanted to see anyway. She knew everything. She knew all the backstory, all the front story, all the side story. I'm like, let me find something. <laughs> I had to stop in the middle of the movie like, wait a minute. Pause. You mean, <laughs> you know this shit? <laughs> it was a good movie though. It. it was very enjoyable. And I would have never went to go see it. Mm -hmm. And I think that that 4DX experience was a really yes, good experience. It. it was worth um, it. But I'm going to tell y'all, if y'all on a budget life, I do not recommend it. Right. It's expensive. Y'all see how much it was, like $23 per ticket? Yes. And that's a matinee price. <laughs> We don't want, you know, we don't know about anything else. I, that was the matinee price. That was the matinee price. Oh, and thank you. Which is the same thing as 
which is the same as the military discount. Yeah, so while pricey, I think it's a worthwhile splurge every here and there, especially if you have movie pass and you're not paying for movies anyway. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like your one movie birthday gift. may be. Yes, this was a birthday gift to me from Gwendolyn. Carnie what? Carnie what? Carnie